What's the story with Purim? I'm Pinterest Taylor, and this is Taylor Talks. Every year, the Jewish community celebrates Purim. It's fun for the entire family and customary to dress up. So this week, we thought it would be fun to tell the story of Purim dressed as President Donald Trump. This is your president, Donald J. Trump. By the way, the J stands for Jewish. And I would like to share with you the story of Purim. A huge time ago, the president of Persia, some guy named King Ahasuerus, Jared, that's how you say his name, right? Anyway, he ruled so many countries from India. Isn't that where Pocahontas is from? So many countries from India to Ethiopia and a whole bunch of other holes in between, okay? One special day, he decided to have a big feast in Ahasuerus Tower with all of his friends, all of his advisors, and of course, the people. This was a great, great feast. Bigly, his wife, Queen Vashti, was supposed to come out and dance for the people. But when she refused, he told her, you're fired. Now that he was single, he could have a Miss Universe contest in order to pick a new wife. And he chose Esther to be his new queen. And she was beautiful, believe me. Now, you won't hear this anywhere else. They won't tell you this, but Esther was Jewish. My daughter's Jewish, by the way. And her cousin Mordechai, smart man, very, very smart man, made her keep her Jewishness a secret that it wouldn't become leaked in the palace. Believe me, you gotta be concerned with leaks. Now, the king had a chief of staff, Haman. Bad man, very, very bad man. A bad hombre, okay? Just like the fat and ugly little rocket man, Kim Jong Un. Haman wanted Mordechai to bow to him, but Mordechai refused. Haman, who was pure evil, by the way, wanted to destroy all the Jews and convinced Ahasuerus that the Jews were bad people and that they should be killed. Mordechai gathered the Jewish people together and they repented to God, the greatest God there is, and begged Esther to make a deal with the king in order to save the Jews. So Esther and the entire Jewish people spent three days reading my book, The Art of the Deal. And they didn't eat for three days because it's just that good of a book, believe me. Esther approached the king and invited him and Haman to two dinner parties. After the second dinner, where the king said way too many l'chaims, Jerry, did I say that okay? Anyway, I don't drink by the way. Esther told the king of Haman's evil, evil plan and revealed that she was Jewish. The king was so angry that he released his fire and fury and frankly, power and passed a law that the Jews could fight back. And it ended up being that Haman was hung on the gallows that was meant for Mordechai. And so, if you think about the hidden force at work that went to save the Jews, it was them reading my book, The Art of the Deal, which can be bought on Amazon. Jared, please put the link in the description, okay? So the Jews win against Haman. Lots of winning. They were winning so much that Queen Esther said, King Ahasuerus, enough winning. Your people are bored with winning. But the king said, no way. We will never be bored of winning. And so every year we have a huge party to celebrate. Huge party. So I want to wish all the Jewish people, all the people worldwide, a very happy Purim and that you should continue winning and winning and winning in all of your lives in the most bigly way possible. We put out these videos every single week. And if you're following us on Facebook, please like our page in the link above. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button in the lower right. 